Hi, I'm Lai. Welcome to Discount Dive, the show where I have a question for you today. Um, do you remember a single thing from Lightyear? No? Me neither. Taika Waititi was in it. There were some sad lesbians. Buzz Lightyear is Chris Evans. Zerg was butchered, I think. I remember not minding it too much, but it seems like everyone on the internet hates it, so it's possible I wasn't paying attention, which seems to be further supported by the fact that I really can't remember anything about it. And apparently nobody wants the toys either. I got all of these for $3.59, but you can see that isn't even the first time they marked it down. Oh, well, th there's another clearance sticker under there. It was probably like $6 before. What? It doesn't matter. The Hyperspeed series seems to be a little Micro Machines type thing, but the machines are a little bigger. Macro Machines, maybe. Just cute little spaceships, I guess. I was only going to get these, but then I checked the back and it said, complete your fleet. And I'm nothing if not stupid. And they happen to have one of every single one of these there. So, you know. Here we are. I think we should start where God intended with number one. You also might notice that these are all iterations on the same ship. I'm pretty sure there was a montage where Buzz kept trying to build the ship differently and there was time dilation. Honestly, you could tell me that anything happened in that movie. It's kind of a Madam Web situation. If you like Buzz Lightyear as a character, you're in luck because uh, all except for this one come with a different iteration on him. You have him in cream filling, grout fit, proud pleaser. And something about this one is kind of familiar. I can't quite put my finger on it. Anyways, enough of the yapping. Let's get unwrapping. Uh, the star of the show himself. Can he stand? Can he stand? Oh, oh. In somewhere. Okay. Well, he can't stand. Ooh. Well, he can't stand, but uh, for size comparison, here he is being dwarfed by Core Class, the blue one. Obviously, the main attraction, though, is the ship. A little rubber band in the way. Not conducive to getting in your cockpit buzz. And as advertised, the landing gear can go down. Yeah, it's a nifty little spaceship. Uh, God, do I have to lean him back? Oh. So it will not close unless I recline him, but reclining him is a little bit of a difficulty. Nice to know he will be sitting comfortably though. Okay, it's still not closing? Oh. Uh, oh, there we go. Giving it a little swoosh. It doesn't feel great. Pretty lightweight. It pretty much feels like a $4 toy, which isn't great for something whose MSRP was $11. Also a mysterious, inexplicable hole under here, but you know, we all have one of those. Time for number two. Not a bad grout fit. Assume the position. This one's a little spicier. This again has the rubber over the cockpit. <laughs> rubber. It's exciting. This one comes pre-scuffed. Love that. I like the design of this one a lot more. It's very odd. This one's pretty basic rocket ship, but this looks like future space plane. Whoosh factor is a little bit better. Kind of looks like Snapdragon, actually. Can also deploy landing gear and also has a bunghole. I'm assuming this is a feature for the larger sets because I know that they have them, but I'm certainly not going to be buying them. And will he cooperate? Oh, this one's a little deeper. And yep, no issue getting it closed this time. Definitely feeling better on the swoosh factor. So we have number one and number two and you know what that means next is number seven he's looking a little sus Ooh, we got extra protection for number seven that's cool not the transformers post even more but this one kind of looks like the arc yeah if you can only get one definitely don't make it number one all the other ones look a lot cooler landing gear butthole it's all the same Oh, silly me, I forgot about the rubber band. And I appear to be scratching up the bottom trying to hook onto it. That's cool. Oh, I could just pull it off. I'm stupid. A little bit of an odd angle for the chair here. Kind of got to hook the feet under the console to get him in. Once he's in, he's in. Swoosh factor is okay, but it is the shortest of them, even though it's a little bit wider, but I think it's still lighter than the other two. Going by aesthetics though, it's definitely my favorite so far. And I'm thinking it probably will be even after opening this one. It's a fine design, but it's nothing special. Seeing as it comes with player one color's buzz, I'm pretty sure this is his final ship. Like the one he uses at the end of the movie when the Avengers theme starts playing. Sometimes an upgrade isn't really an upgrade. Like when my exes date other people. Oh, it's that? An extra play feature? I thought these were on some kind of hinge, but I think that's just how they were inserted. And now I got clear rubber bands everywhere. Cool, love it. Oh, camera. Training wheels, anal cavity, you know the drill. Farewell. This one feels really light and flimsy. I cannot imagine paying $12 for this. Is it $11? $11.99. So I guess I was right both times. Swoosh factors at a zero. Boring and bad and uninspired. And I don't know how well this is coming across on camera, but this one is like an eggshell, creamy, yellowy white. Whereas these two are a nice crispy white. And this one is that really nice gray. So I guess the colors got worse as the engines got better. I don't even know if the engines got better. What was this movie about? Here are the ships ranked from my least favorite to most favorite. Uh, comment if you agree with me, if you disagree with 
with me or if you want to go out on a date with me uh, i won't respond to the last one but it'll make me feel really good about myself and for the grand finale we have them dropping in just like they did in that iconic scene in the movie maybe probably i have no idea Ooh, this one comes with instructions oh wait did they all come with instructions no this is the only one that comes with instructions so it says drop to reveal zyclops does that mean dropping it opens it that would be cool I don't know. Uh, here's the scale for him, and again, no idea if this is accurate. I'm pretty sure it's not, though. I thought they were huge. Buzz can go back to his little purgatory cockpit. All right, so what's the deal with these? Oh, wait, there's two different pods. Okay, so this one... Is this the drop one? They have little molded numbers on the bottom to tell you which is which. So pod two uh, just opens. I, that doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel good at all. Oh? Oh, it's just... Oh, yay. <laughs> Pretty underwhelming as far as action features go. I would have rather it had a bunghole. So I guess there's one for display purposes. But number one over here, apparently you're supposed to drop. A little rattly. Looks like we got some springs going on somewhere in there. It doesn't sit flat and that doesn't... <laughs> so it doesn't sit flat and that doesn't bode super well, but let's try it. Drop test. Ooh, that was kind of cool, honestly. Let's try again. Drop test two. It's like, <laughs> good grief. Yeah, this thing is gonna take a beating if you do it consistently. I don't know, three. Kinda jumps up like a Bakugan. I'm not sure why you wouldn't have both of them work that way. That's way more fun. I guess if you're a boring collector type, you'd want one that's just normal. It's stuck on my glove. But what collector is buying these? Aside from me, obviously. Not really any swoosh factor. Okay, <laughs> can you tell I have the shakes? No swoosh factor, but obviously this one has a drop factor. I think if you like futuristic spaceships, these aren't a terrible pickup. I could see them being fun to paint up, though I'm too lazy and untalented to do that. I'm not gonna say $4 is some incredible bargain, but it's definitely what they should have been priced in the first place. And if you were a fan of the movie Lightyear, uh, no, you weren't. Don't lie to yourself. The spring-loaded guy is pretty fun, but this guy doesn't really serve a purpose. I guess if you wanted to simulate a malfunctioning drop pod, you could use him for that. Drop test. Wow, incredible. I also just noticed that the one with springs has red on the top and this one doesn't. Though this one gets a little bit of battle damage, so I guess they're even? I don't know, you can go over here with Boring Light Ear. The other one can drop in on Mr. Among Us. I'm sure a kid would enjoy any of them, but I also worry that a kid might swallow one of the Buzz Light Ears. I mean, he's barely bigger than a cashew. <coughs> and nowhere near as delicious. 